Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today we're starting a new series on Bootstrap. So, you might be thinking, what the heck is Bootstrap? Well, Bootstrap is a framework to develop a responsive, mobile-first website. Bootstrap is a most popular HTML, CSS, JavaScript framework for developing responsive, mobile-first websites. Now we're going to look at Bootstrap in this video and we're going to set up our IDE for Bootstrap development. And if you remember, we made this uh, in Photoshop. This is a mock-up of website, which is going to be our final project for Bootstrap training series. So this is a portfolio website. Well, I'll try to give you an idea how you can customize this. Now let's go back to Bootstrap website. So first let's look at a few of the websites are live or made by Bootstrap. So let's just open this uh, expo.getbootstrap.com and here we have a few websites which are made using Bootstrap framework. I'm going to look at this creative team. Let's open that and I'm going to click on it to open this website. Now we're looking at the desktop right now. So this is creative team. And then as you can see, pretty good looking website. Now what is so responsive about it? If I decrease the size of that and I'm pretty sure this is a tablet size and now as you can see when I'm increasing or decreasing the size the website responds to the size of our web browser and change its components so this is basically a responsive website now I'm just gonna increase the size and full resolution of the website now let's go back and we are going to look at a few more websites so let me just uh, look at this one Spotify this is used by a bootstrap as well so now we have the menu on the top and let's just decrease the size and let's look at it how it responds to our responsive website so the first thing you will notice that you see the menu is gone and then we have three lines here if i click on that it will pop up the mass uh, menu bar so this is kind of responsive so if i'm gonna make it a mobile size and now let's just look at this now it looks pretty cool just going to increase the size back to the desktop right click and I'm going to inspect this is our developer tool and now I'm going to change this to a mobile first so this is a mobile first website as you can see if we were to look at the desktop base this is the desktop based website so bootstrap is pretty useful the best thing about bootstrap is that if you want to create a website quickly and easily then you need to use some kind of framework and i would highly recommend bootstrap because it's the most popular framework for developing responsive websites so we will go to download bootstrap i'm going to click on that and then here you can download bootstrap by clicking on download bootstrap you can even look at the source code from github sas is here as well uh let me download this bootstrap first and then we will look at the better way to put this into our web project now let's just download bootstrap by clicking on that and it will start downloading it's a small file 362 kilobytes i'm just going to open that into a finder and here we have the bootstrap distribution .zip file double click on it to extract that i'm going to open this and now we have three folders css and we have css files here let's go back we have the fonts here as well and we have a js file for bootstrap so we have three files if you notice here we have the bootstrap.min.js it's a minified version of bootstrap basically it will be like the all the code is in one line so it's it's quicker to load and we have this bootstrap.js file now to put them into your project you can simply copy this file and put them into your file and then we can use this file but there's another way that you can put bootstrap into your project by using a cdn so these files are hosted on max cdn.bootstrap so if you put this link it will do the same thing so if you don't want to download and host bootstrap yourself you can include it from cdn content delivery network max cdn provide cdn support for bootstrap css and javascript but you must also include a jQuery because the jQuery is required to use Bootstrap 
And uh, one advantage of using Bootstrap CDN is that many users already have downloaded Bootstrap from Max CDN when visiting another website. As a result, it will be loaded from cache when they visit your website, which leads to the faster loading time. Also, most CDNs will make sure that once the user requests a file from it, it will be served from the server closest to them, which also leads to faster loading time. Now let's set up Bootstrap for our web project. Right now I'm looking at getting starting page on Bootstrap website. Now let's go down here and here we have a basic template which will guide us to set up Bootstrap. So we have the doc type, HTML tag, head tag, title inside it, body tag. So in the head tag we have the char set, we have this another meta tag, we have another meta tag here and then we have this link here which is linking to a bootstrap file so i'll be using a visual studio code which i think the best uh, best ide for web development i've done a full video on this how to use how to customize this so if you want to check out click on that card or there's a link in the description as well now one thing i want to do here i want to open a folder first so let's click on file menu go to open and here I created a folder bootstrap training and inside that folder I have three another folders assets CSS and scripts we will put JavaScript files into scripts the CSS file will go into CSS and if we have any assets such as images fonts we'll put those file into assets and I could create another folder which will have all the pages for our website but our website has only one page so that's fine I'm going to click on open to open that folder and now let's click on this explorer and there you go we have this uh, bootstrap training folder opened in visual studio code we have three folders assets css and scripts currently we don't have any files into these folders but we will create those files first of all let's create a new file i'm going to name it index.html enter and that will create your file right now you can look at the icon as well it's a html file now we're going to set up our html file for bootstrap first of all let's just type doc type html start your html tag and then we need a head tag and then we need a body tag here these are just the primary tags we need to have inside our HTML. I forgot the slash, right? Let's save the file. So once I save the file, as you can see, it automatically adjusts all those tags for me. This is really cool. Now let's go back to Bootstrap website and we need to put these three meta tags. So let's just copy these from here and then we'll just put them into our head tag. So it's basically setting the chart set for us and uh, content ie edge so this is just a compatibility for our edge browser and then we have a meta tag for our viewport and content so this is just the default things now in the head tag we need to link our bootstrap file so if you remember we downloaded those file we can use them or we can actually copy this mc cdn file so here we have this full link here i can actually copy this and i can put that into my file but we can look at how do we use the file so first let's me open the finder here and I actually downloaded bootstrap before should be in a download folder so this is the folder and we need a css file in the css file we have this bootstrap.css we have this bootstrap.mini file version which is basically let me show you actually so we'll open that into a text edit uh you won't be able to see that in a text edit i'm going to open that into another ide which is brackets what i use so once i open that into brackets and here you will see all the bootstrap files are available here let me just cancel this bracket is cool as well so this is the bootstrap file we need to include into our project let me show you the minified version of that let me open that into brackets so the minified version basically it's uh, 
it's just the same line there is no space between so it just loads faster well we can use bootstrap.main file as well but i would recommend that if you are learning then use bootstrap.css4 file right so you can look at that look at these uh, classes are made in bootstrap file but if you want to look at these classes it's going to be hard for you to find the classes here because there's no space it's for the actual project when you will done learning bootstrap then use the minified version or a cdn version but we are learning bootstrap so that's why we're going to use this bootstrap.css file now let's close this so you understand what's the difference between minified file so i'm going to copy this file and we go back to our folder that was front end bootstrap training i'm going to drop that into css folder and then we go back to this folder we need a js file so js file here so js file has two versions as well bootstrap.js and bootstrap.minified version for the learning curve use the bootstrap.js let's copy this and we go back to box front and and here we're gonna put that into our script folder let's paste it and then here you will see in the script we have bootstrap.js file in the CSS we have a bootstrap.css file now I'm going to right click on CSS and I'm gonna create a new file style CSS. This is going to be our own file for our CSS, so we're going to customize this. Well, if you use a default bootstrap, you need to customize some of the things, right, to make your website look different. And we will just create another JavaScript file as well, so script.js, right? Let's go to index.html file. I'm going to go to bootstrap website again and let's look at the template one more time so here we can see that we need to link the bootstrap file and we need to link our js file bootstrap.js file and then we need a jquery for that as well well for the jquery i can copy and paste this link and uh, if you want to download jquery you can even do that by going to jquery website and I think I have already downloaded jQuery somewhere in my computer. If not, then I'll show you where you can get it. Let's go to, this is the web project I was working on. So this is the jQuery file I've downloaded. I'm going to copy this file and let's go back to our project bootstrap training. Let's go to scripts and I'm going to paste that file here as well. Now we have all the files we need to work on our project so let's go to the body tag first of all let's just get rid of it and i mean we can do the body first or later but first let's just attach the bootstrap file so what we will type here we'll type link rel we'll type here style sheet i hope i spelled it right and then we can say type which is going to be text slash css and then href and then here we type the folder name slash and bootstrap.css all right so now we have can save the file now we have attached this bootstrap.css file to the project and we are going to attach our style.css as well so link rel style sheet type is going to be text slash css href css slash style dot css okay so there's one thing here to notice that i actually put my own customized style sheet after i linked the bootstrap file because when the compiler comes here the com browser compiler which will read the bootstrap file and if we have done any customization to a website such as changing the background uh, change the color of particular font or heading or anything then we will read those from the style.css file so that will be compiled after the bootstrap.css file so it will override all the styles which has which are available in bootstrap.css file so that's the benefit of putting it after so you should do that now let's go to the body tag and then here i'm going to link to our jquery file first so let's just go type script tag src source and we have this script folder slash 
I spelled it wrong, so script slash first let's add a jQuery file dot js and then we are going to close this script tag first, so script and then I'm gonna just uh, make another skip track src into be the source and then let's type scripts slash bootstrap.js and then close this script tag as well so let's save this I'm just gonna just make some spaces here and now our web project is ready for bootstrap now this it this is it for this video guys and in the next video we will start learning how to create our grid layouts or how to create how to use bootstrap so there's so many things to learn in bootstrap and it's a very an easy way to create amazing website all right so i see you guys in the next video stay tuned make sure you subscribe and make sure you join our facebook group link is in the description check it out we have a lot of programmers there which can help you to you know to improve your programming skills so thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video cheese